But we begin tonight with Richard Holling. The 41-year-old had worked at the Pike River Mine for just three months when he and 28 others died nearly eight years ago. Marion Curtin is Richard's mother. You probably haven't heard her name much because she rarely speaks publicly. But a short time ago, she told me that she was against re-entry and was floored by yesterday's announcement. I couldn't believe that common sense or even sanity wouldn't prevail and it would be stopped and no more would happen. I, I, was, I was very, very upset. Why? Several reasons, um, in no particular order. One is the cost. I think I'm, I'm embarrassed as the mother of a boy who died, even though I've been anti re-entry from the beginning, I still feel that these millions of dollars are going to be spent um, on behalf of some of the Pike families. I think just look at New Zealand today and you could make a list of a hundred ways millions could be better spent and, and I'm just appalled by that. It, you know, spend it on the living. The dead are dead. They're, they're not forgotten. They're loved in our hearts and um, mainly the cost, but also for me it's the futility of the whole exercise. I don't know what evidence they expect to find in the drift. If, if somebody could have ever explained that to me, I, I, you know, I, I accept if something's explained to me and I understand it, but I've only ever heard vague references really, oh we might find something. We might find the cause. Well, my way of thinking is that the mine exploded and why people are surprised that a coal mine explodes, I, I just don't understand that. That is what coal mines often do. They always have, they always will. So, you know, to find a cause to me is irrelevant. It did explode. And another point for me is sacrilege. I just feel it's inappropriate. Not that I believe, not that I understand there, there are any bodies to find, and they won't be bodies, they'll only be remains in the drift. Um, but for me, the, the thought of poking around and picking up a little bag of ash and giving it to someone is just abhorrent. I, I believe in rest and peace. They're, they're in a beautiful part of the country. You know, it's, it's, you talk about scattering ashes in places of beauty. And to me, in a roundabout way, that is what has happened. Do you think, they're, dis speak... do you think they're disturbing your son's grave, Marion? Well, I do see it like that. I mean, not just mine, but 29 men. Um, and yes, I, I just feel it's, you know, it's sacrilege. Do other families agree with you, Marion, about this? Um, I do know that other families don't want re-entry. Um, I, I, I know that. I'm, I can't give you a list of names, mm. because, but, but through various ways we, we hear. Um, and for reasons of their own, I do know that some families choose not to speak up. And, um, you know, things have become unpleasant at times for some people. I what do you mean Church, by that? So I, I live in Christchurch, so I'm at a distance. And, but I have heard that, you know, the, there's a bit of, um, you know, questioning people's attitudes, perhaps. So and, are, you, um, are you or some of the other families who feel the same way as you, are you at odds with some of the other Pike River families? I don't know any of the other families. I mean, obviously we have different views. I don't want to make it sound as though there's a feud going on. We just have different views and different opinions. But I do know of one family that moved away from Westland just because they, they felt they needed to um, for their own peace of mind, and I can understand that. Um, but, you know, but what I'm saying is we do know that there are other families, uh, you know, not everybody wants re-entry. Marion, if there is even the tiniest chance that this exercise will uncover exactly what happened, are, are you not curious to know? No, not at all, couldn't care less. To me, well, I shouldn't say it like that, sorry, but it's irrelevant. 
I mean, it's happened. As I said, it was an explosion in a coal mine. I, I'm not an expert on coal mines, believe it or not, but I, you know, I just think, well, if, and that's a big if, somebody in the mine that day did something silly that caused a spark, that caused an explosion, well, they've paid for it with their life, haven't they? So what else are you going to do? And, and this is it. Nobody knows the cause of the explosion. So how can anybody be held blameworthy? These are things I, I just don't understand. And I don't go blindly wanting to, you know, to blame somebody mm. and seek retribution. I, I just don't, you know, I don't work like that. I just think it was a horrible, horrible tragedy. Did and, yours... Marion, did your son Richard ever talk about uh, feeling unsafe in the mine? No, no, he'd only just started there. He didn't have much experience. Um, but, you know, what he had said to us was that, going back to what I said before, he had said when he died he wanted his ashes scattered in the Paparoa Ranges, so there's a certain sense of irony there. But, um, you know, no, I... I <laughs> Apart from the fact I don't understand how they can find out what happened. So I, why, I do you, any, why do you why do you think it's not, going ahead? You know, you say you'd rather money was spent elsewhere. You're not sure if they're going to find what some people are looking for. So what do you think's driving this re-entry plan? Well, you'd have to ask the people who are driving it, wouldn't you? I, I personally don't understand it. Um, you know, we as a family have chosen, you know, we, we think of Richard with love each day. Um, and I've said it before, uh, for me a good day is when I don't see or hear or read anything about Pike River. We just think that we had um, our lovely boy for 41 years and we, we're thankful for that. And, um, and we remember him with love. Marion Curtin, the mother of Pike River miner Richard Holling.